In the heart of the labyrinth, where walls of stone whisper ancient secrets and torchlight dances with shadows, there lies a creature of myth and mystery. A beast so fearsome, so enigmatic, that its very existence has sparked tales of terror and fascination for millennia. Welcome to the realm of the Minotaur. Our journey begins in the ancient city of Knossos, nestled on the island of Crete. It is here that the tale of the Minotaur finds its roots in the labyrinthine halls beneath the palace. The Minotaur, a creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull, was born of the union between Queen Pasiphae and a magnificent bull sent by the gods themselves. This union, cursed by the gods as punishment, gave rise to a creature destined to haunt the depths of the labyrinth. Imprisoned within the labyrinth by King Minos, the Minotaur became a symbol of both divine wrath and mortal folly. Its very existence a reminder of the consequences of hubris and the whims of the gods. But why was the Minotaur created? What purpose does this fearsome beast serve within the depths of the labyrinth? Legend tells us that the Minotaur's purpose was twofold. Firstly, it was a punishment inflicted upon King Minos and his kingdom for their transgressions against the gods. Secondly, it served as a dark tribute, demanding sacrifices from Athens. Every nine years, seven youths and seven maidens from Athens were chosen to be sent as tribute to the Minotaur. These unfortunate souls were meant to sate the beast's hunger, a grim reminder of the cost of defiance. But what if one were to brave the depths of the labyrinth? How does one confront the Minotaur and emerge victorious? To face the Minotaur is to confront both a physical and psychological challenge. The labyrinth itself is a maze of twisting passages, designed to confuse and disorient. Those who enter must have not only strength of body, but also of mind. Many brave souls attempted to navigate the labyrinth armed with nothing but their wits and a thread given to them by Ariadne, daughter of King Minos. This thread, used to mark their path, was their lifeline in the darkness. Confronting the Minotaur itself required courage beyond measure. Armed with only makeshift weapons or their bare hands, heroes like Theseus of Athens stood face to face with the beast. And so, the Minotaur's tale comes to an end, yet its legacy endures through the ages. From ancient myths to modern interpretations, the Minotaur continues to captivate and intrigue. In literature, art, and popular culture, the Minotaur stands as a symbol of the labyrinthine challenges we all face. Its story a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the consequences of our actions. Whether it be in the depths of a physical maze or the complexities of our own lives, the Minotaur's presence serves as a reminder to tread carefully to seek the thread that guides us through the darkness. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the heart of the Minotaur's labyrinth. Until next time, may your path be clear and your courage unwavering. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more mythical adventures. And as always, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Minotaur and the mysteries of the labyrinth. Until next time, farewell.